Hi everybody. Sorry if you can hear the lawn mower in the back. My stepson is mowing right now, so I'll have a nice lawn, but it is loud and kind of obnoxious, and I'm sorry about it. But I wanted to hop on here real quick. I got two boxes. They're pretty small. They're from, uh, I found them through Facebook because of course your phone listens to everything. So when I started looking for beauty boxes and things to show you all, these popped up. So one of them is Medusa's Makeup and the other one is Glow Addict. So before I start these, if you could please like, comment, um, subscribe, anything helps and anything is appreciated. I'm going to go ahead and start these. It's going to be a pretty quick video and I'm hoping it's informative for you all. So I had never heard about Medusa's Makeup until I saw it on Facebook and it is a cruelty-free and vegan beauty box. Now, they have their own brand, so these items, I, I've never tried Medusa's makeup before. So, we'll go ahead and open this up. Whoopsie. So, as soon as you open it, you get a card just like Birchbox and um, BoxyCharm and most of the other beauty boxes, sub subscription boxes. So it tells you the items in here. First thing I see is this, and it's the Lavender Moon Sparkle Bath Soak. Now this has glitter in it. I am not a bath person, and I probably won't use this, but my kids will love it. So I will let you know how that works out for them. Um, then the rest of the box is covered in this paper. There is a brush, so this is the Medusa Makeup brand brush. Now it is plastic down here. It's like a rose gold color up here. It feels, it feels like it would work well. It just, I'd have to try it myself to let you know exactly how it applies the makeup, but uh, it feels like a pretty sturdy brush. So after you unwrap the next items, they are in here, plastic, wrapped, and safe. Let me struggle, I'm so sorry. Okay, so the first thing that comes out is the Medusa Makeup Unicorn Kiss Vegan Lip Sparkle. So when you open it up, ooh, it does have some sparkle. I'm just gonna use my finger and put that on. Now my face has foundation, um, concealer, I have prepped it with my normal uh, beauty routine in the morning, you know, face wash, moisturizer, all that, but I hadn't put anything on my lips or eyes um, and no bronzer or blush because I wasn't fully aware of what are in these boxes. So, so it is a light gloss and honestly, it feels good. A lot of glitter items you buy are, you can feel the glitter, it's like gritty, I guess is the word. This doesn't feel like that, but you also can't see, I mean, you can see shine, but you can't see a lot of glitter. I mean, it's not really sparkly. It's more shiny than anything. It's, um, if you can see it on my finger, it's got a little bit of sparkle to it, but mostly shine. So there's that item. So the next item I'm gonna pull out of here is actually a water resistant matte lipstick. So I'm gonna take this off in just a second and put this on. But it has sunscreen in it and this looks to be a different brand. So this is Emily Alexandra Cosmetics. And the tube is a really pretty rose gold. If you can see it, I really like that. Let me go ahead and take this off. Give me one second. Back with bare lips. Ooh, look at that. That looks like um, mermaid scales. That's so cool. All right, this is like a, a nude. It's called Seashell. Now, <clears throat> I know it's not fully on yet, but I wanted to point out that, see how the tip is like curved? That's different to me. I don't know if I really like that or not. All right, 
Let me fix this just a little and I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm back after applying and honestly, this lip color is so close to like, I don't know, my skin tone I guess, that it looks, I like how it applied. It's, it's covering my lip well, but the color on the other hand is just a little light for me. I'm going to take this um, lip sparkle that we've already gotten and put a little bit on top and see. See, I think that helped. I'm usually pretty worried about a light color on my lips <clears throat> with my skin and everything, um, kind of it being matchy, but I think it looks good. I like the color. So this lipstick by Emily Alexandra, I do like. The last item in the Medusa box is this right here, and it is an eye dust, mystical eye dust, cruelty free and vegan. When I open it up, this is very nice packaging. I think it's cute. Ooh, so it is like a glitter powder. I think I have to take this off somehow. Sorry guys, I'm on the struggle bus. I don't really know how to open this. Oh, right. Yay, I got it. There's no like lift tap. It was just circular all the way around. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this brush um, and see. Now, this glitter, I did prime my eye, um, but this is loose glitter. So it is probably going to fall, which is okay. Oh wow, so that is really pretty. So I'm going to start with the brush. First of all, the brush um, actually applies it very well. But then the actual color, so it looks like just fine glitter, but once you put it on your eye, it like fully covers your eyelid. Like, I'm very impressed. I'm very impressed by that. I do like that. It's got a light. I know this side looks a little wonky, guys. I'm, I'll fix it. Um, it's got a light sparkle to it. And I really, I really like that. All right, guys. So that is the Medusa box. Now... I will say that the products are all mythical, magical, they're supposed to be like fun, and I really, in, I do enjoy that. Uh, so all in all, I really liked everything. I really like the eye dust, I think that was an awesome find. The lipstick is great. The lip shine is okay. It's not something I would, I mean, I would just use a gloss, honestly. Um, but it's not bad, and it does moisten the lips. The packaging was nice. The brush, honestly, applied everything the way I feel like it was supposed to. That is the Medusa box. The next box, real quick, that I wanted to show you all is, oh, I lost it. Oh, my mirror was on it is the Glow Addict box. So as soon as you open this up, there's no um, paper or anything, but you see what's in the box right away. So there are these Loha Lashes Premium 3D Faux Minks False Lashes. Now I haven't gotten very good at putting on lashes. I'm going to try one of these days and let you know um, if I can do it or not. Maybe I'll make a video uh, of me trying to put on lashes because last time I tried it was quite comical and you all would probably um, be amused at my pain. So I will have to try those for sure. The next item is a sponge. Um, it's angled and pink. It feels fuzzier than most sponges. Um, that I have used before, but it's very squishy and soft. 
Maybe in my next video I can try to use this and apply. I am a little shiny today and honestly I think that has to do with my lighting. I'm still trying to get it like right. So I'm sorry if I look a little like blinding but it is what it is. So the next item is this lip scrub, coffee lip scrub, CBD infused um, from Good Days, G-E-W-D and then Days, D-A-Z-E. Never heard of this brand before. Lip scrub is always nice to have. It looks like coffee and it smells like coffee grounds. I do like that smell. That's one of my favorite smells is coffee in the morning. So the other item is the Lower Lift. Um, it is JJ Young by K.O. Leon Lab. It's a firm and lift mask. I can't try that now, but I'll have to try it later. So I'll let you know how that works as well. I'm sorry there's so many items I can't really try, but at least you're getting the idea of what's in the box. Sorry, I had to take a little break real quick. Um, my daughter is watching Pokemon and apparently she thinks somebody has died. I I don't remember anybody dying in Pokemon, but she's crying, and so I had to calm her down. She's better now, so I hope everything is okay. Anyways, the last item in this box is the Electro Palette, and actually this is from Medusa Makeup, which is the uh, subscription box I just opened. That's crazy because I didn't know this was going to be in there. Um, so far their products seem good. I haven't found anything that I really didn't like about them as of yet, but I haven't really used them and worn them for a long amount of time. So when you open the eyeshadow palette, oops, the protective sheet fell out, but I like that it had one. Now it's got many colors. The top is a matte and the last two rows are like a shimmer. So you can see. Um, I already have this on, but I'm going to go ahead and take this, um, chalice, the silver glitter, and I'm going to put a little bit on this brush and go like just over the top right here, just so you can see the amount of sparkle that it offers. Ooh, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to knock myself over. So, that is Chalice on the top. If you can see, it actually offers quite a bit of glitter. And it's very pretty. I don't think the camera does any of this justice. I look a hot mess, honestly. But that's because I'm all mismatched. But the glitter is very pretty. And it actually blends very well with the other Medusa makeup, the um, Mystical Eye Dust. Now, this is what came in the Medusa box. And this is what came in the Glow Addict box, but they're both the same brand and they blend very well together. I'm going to go ahead and just swatch a few colors. This is Gravity, the green, and Feminist is the blue. And I'm just going to place them. So the blue looks like it would probably take a few coats to get a really good, let me get another, coloring. It is pretty light. Now the green goes on a lot darker, but they are pretty. They have that shimmer. Like the bottom three are very, very, bottom four, I'm sorry, are very um, glittery. And then the middle is more of like a shimmer. And then the top is the matte. So I'm doing Always Sunny on my skin. That's the yellow and it's a matte. And just show up okay. Um, eyeshadows, the biggest problem with me is how they wear throughout the day. So I can't really tell you how that would work. But those are a few of the colors. Again, this is the palette. And the glitters on the top, chalice. So that is the last product that was actually in the Glow Addict box. And the Glow Addict box as a whole, I'd say is okay. I wasn't really that impressed. Honestly, either box, 
I won't probably subscribe to again. I will say I'm glad I found the Medusa makeup brand and I will continue to purchase from them. I'm not 100% sure if I'll get the boxes just because some of their items to me seem a little more teeny boppy than um, for a 30 year old woman. But I do like the products themselves. I mean, it. I will use everything I have gotten. I just might not reach for it very often, like all the time. Uh, none of these items I think are going to be like an everyday type of item, but I did enjoy them, especially the eyeshadows and the mystical eye dust. So I would say from this, the Medusa makeup brand is something that you all should definitely check out and I enjoyed. And I thank you all for watching. I do look a hot mess. I just put on everything here. Now I've got a contour and everything <laughs> afterwards because I have not do that done that. But I thank you all for watching and subscribe, like, and comment. And thank you. I'll see y'all later.